What's going on, Team Fresh? Welcome back to a new real life episode, guys. I don't typically do a lot of vlogs, so today I figured that we would just talk and, you know, work on my car, give you an update on the studio, and then we'll play with Mila as well. So if you guys enjoy the behind the scenes kind of content, make sure to follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. I recently created a TikTok account, which is pretty cool. Make sure to follow me on there for all of the behind the scenes kind of stuff. But without further ado, let's get Mila in here. Mila, come here. Mila monkey. Come here, puppy. Come here. Hey, puppy. What's going on? What's going on? How's it going? How's it going? Sit. Shake. Good puppy. Good puppy. Good puppy. Good puppy. Yeah, yeah. Mila just turned one. She's a one-year-old puppy. Look at that. But yeah, just to give you guys a quick update, I did shift my desk over to the corner. And we do have the silver play button, thanks to all of you guys. Now, if you guys followed me on Instagram, Twitter, or TikTok, you guys would know that I actually own a 370Z Nismo right over here, guys. It's a 2010 Nissan 370Z Nismo. And I will kind of go over all of the mods that I've done to it since I've gotten it. And uh, then we're gonna do some modifications ourselves in today's video. So uh, this video is not sponsored by anybody, but we are going to install the AEM short ram intake system. And we also have this awesome little goodie. This is a push button engine start button from a GTR actually, but it fits my car and it looks way more aggressive. Uh, the original uh, start button on the 370Z is white. First things first, let's move the car. All right, so let's go over all of the modifications done to the car. Obviously, you guys see that the car is sitting pretty low, so it's dropped on BC Racing coilovers. Uh, we do have spacers installed, uh, 25 mil spacers in the front and 15 mil spacers in the back. Uh, now, as we walk around the car, we do have the side skirt lip over here. Uh, we do have the F1. Uh, racing carbon fiber mirrors. You guys can see that. Um, the car is mainly stock, but it does have a few upgrades, obviously. Uh, tinted windows as well. And as we walk around the back, you guys have already heard the exhaust system. That is the AAM Competition Exhaust. Carbon fiber titanium tips. I actually like these a lot. Now, the one thing I actually did forget to mention, I did just recently install this under shroud protective cover, which is fully aluminum and it protects the bottom of uh, the, uh, the vehicle underneath the engine. So it's a very nice upgrade as well. Now, the interior is mainly stock. I did recently install the double din head unit, which is pretty nice. It has the Apple CarPlay. Uh, which is right over here and uh, what we're gonna do today is actually we're gonna replace this engine start button uh, which like I said it's just clear and the red one is gonna be that much more aggressive but uh, yeah otherwise the interior is mainly stock and that is going to change very soon I do have racing seats coming actually to replace these and I also have a different steering wheel coming uh, the 2015 and up 370Z Nismo actually has 
a slightly different steering wheel with a red stripe up here. Now, if you guys enjoy these kinds of videos, definitely let me know in the comment section down below as well as by smashing that like button. But uh, let's go ahead and begin installing the, uh, the push button start on this car. Taking this apart is actually very simple. All you have to do is push up on here. There we go. And then what you want to do is just disconnect this plug. Then you just push it out and that's pretty much it. And just look at the difference between these two. Like the red one just looks so much more aggressive. It's just a simple mod, but I think it makes a big difference. All right, and the rest is pretty much easy. You're just putting it back in how it was and you're pretty much done. And that's pretty much it, guys. I bet you not a lot of you guys knew that I like working on my own cars, but uh, here you have it, guys. Let's just make sure that the button actually works. And it does. And it actually feels a lot better. It's like a smoother surface, too. So happy with this mod. Mila, what are you doing? What are you doing? What's going on? What's going on? Are you having fun? Good puppy, you're such a good puppy, you're such a good puppy. Yes, yes, yes. Say hello to the viewers. All right, guys, and after we're done with this installation, we're gonna take this car for a quick little drive. I think you guys will appreciate it just to see what it sounds like. But uh, as I mentioned, we have the two intakes here. It's a dual intake system, which is pretty sick. And it's gonna basically replace these two original intakes. So guess what, guys? I actually unboxed pretty much everything. Everything's laid out right here, everything that we got. But the one thing we're missing is the actual piping. All right guys, so fast forward a few days, we actually got the missing piping from AM. I had to get in touch with them directly, but we are good to go for this installation. But in the meantime, while I was waiting to receive the pipes, I actually received my racing seats and I installed them. So if you guys are following me on Instagram, you guys have already seen the picture, but check this out. This looks so much better than the factory seats. These seats are way better and they hug you so much. There's so much bolstering support right here. So your torso is not gonna go anywhere. And I just love the way they came out. But uh, yeah, we will be doing a quick POV drive uh, once I'm done with the intakes, just so we can test it out, how it sounds and everything. But other than that, I am extremely happy with how everything's coming out with this project. Now the next is gonna be the steering wheel. That's like the only missing uh, piece of the puzzle here, if you will. So I have that coming as well. But uh, yeah, let's get working on the intake. All right guys, so I'm not gonna bore you with the whole installation process, but here is the finished product. Uh, it looks absolutely amazing, super clean. That's why I went with AEM. And uh, almost looks like factory tubes with this nice heat shield here. And same on this side here. Now, uh, this one actually went in very straightforward, pretty easily, cleared all the AC lines and everything like that, no problems there. By the way, this is a cut from installing these two. Um, this one, however, gave me so many issues. First, the heat shield didn't want to line up, then the mass airflow sensor had a few issues there, and then that fitting over here uh, did not want to line up, so all kinds of issues, but finally it bolted on and everything just looks great. And I think it's time that we take this for a quick little drive. The car sounds absolutely amazing here, I gotta say. We're gonna do a quick little second gear pull, but um, yeah, I gotta say I'm very impressed with the sound. 
feel like my exhaust system got a little louder too. Let's do a quick second gear pull. Yeah, that's pretty, that's pretty awesome. Sounds way better. And I gotta say, I love these seats. These seats look sick. I feel like I got a little robbed uh, with the steering wheel because 2015 and plus Nismos came with a way more aggressive steering wheel. It has like a red stripe in the middle here. Uh, mine obviously doesn't have that. So I want to get a Nismo steering wheel, even though this is a Nismo, it kind of feels silly saying that, but I want to get the updated one. Uh, it's a little more round. Uh, than this wheel and it has the red stripe so that's probably gonna be my next modification uh, also want to do uh, new wheels but that's probably gonna have to wait but uh, let's do one quick pull again something you can say hey I did it myself but it's fun working on you know cars yourself and that way you can actually uh, make sure that you know nobody's gonna mess it up no one's gonna you know scratch up your car in the process or curve your wheels or what have you yeah I'm just gonna wrap up the video right here once again please follow me on Instagram Twitter and TikTok just create an account there I'm gonna be posting more often there if you enjoyed this kind of video so make sure to smash a like uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.